The Pixel 5 isn't flashy. No one looks at this phone and asks what it is, or who it's made by. There isn't a funky color, there's no shiny curved display or distinctive camera bump. But what there is, is a consistent, smooth, and fun experience to make your digital and physical life easier. This is the Pixel 5. I want to start off by saying that no one has paid me or influenced me to say anything in this video. I have no sponsor, no review unit, no contract, nothing. Everything that I say here are completely my own thoughts. What is the Pixel 5 like to use? Simply put, a treat. It's unobtrusive but smart, powerful but efficient, complex but incredibly easy. The first thing you notice when picking up this phone is the design and in-hand feel. It's incredibly thin and very light. The curved sides sink into your hand and you feel the smooth but slightly tactile bioresin coating. This is a plastic designed from oils produced by organic compounds stretched over an aluminum frame to cover up the hole made for the wireless charging coils. I have here the just black color but it also comes in sort of sage. The coating feels a little rougher than the glass sandwiches we're used to on phones nowadays, with a little sparkle thrown into the paint. I wish it had a little more texture to keep the phone from sliding, but personally the aluminum is better than glass for durability, and the paint covers up the antenna lines found on most devices. This is also a fairly small phone with a 6 inch display, that makes for a fairly easily one-handable device. It's not perfect, one-handed typing is a little difficult to stretch all the way across, but this is nowhere near a giant tablet of a phone. The thinness and lightweight contribute to this device feeling like an actual communicator, not a pocket PC. Handling this device, you'd also notice that the camera is positioned far enough away that your fingers don't continuously smudge it although there is an indicator in the settings of the camera if you do. And the phone doesn't rock that much on a table. The thing that is in the perfect position to be smudged, however, is the pixel imprint. This sensor is quick, very accurate, and sensitive to gestures. My only complaint is the recessed nature of the scanner, but a case quickly solves that problem. I do wish there was face unlock, as having to lift the phone to unlock can be frustrating if the phone is on a table, plus the scanner doesn't work if your finger is wet or dirty. For most of these conditions, however, Smart Lock can pick up the slack at the cost of some security. Overall, the buttons remain clicky, although I wish the power button had some color to it. And they have good placement. IP68 dust and water resistance is present, and on my year-old unit, I haven't found there to be any screen separation, like on some of the early pixels. Speaking of this unit being a year old, it's held up fairly well, although there are more scratches and discoloration on the back than I expected, and the screen is held up quite well, minus my drop. While a downgrade from the Pixel 4, the haptics feel sharp and detailed, and the software makes heavy use of the vibration motor to make Android feel more alive. Another downgrade from the Pixel 4 is Active Edge, the ability to squeeze the phone for assistant. The justification here was to bring down cost, but Active Edge went into the $400 3A, so I don't quite get it. Using the Pixel 5 is a delight, especially without the worry of shattering this phone. I would have liked to see more color thrown in, giving me a reason to rock this phone without a case. The sort of sage option didn't look quite appealing to me. I stuck with just black, a minimalist phone. Flipping over from the design is the screen, continuing the idea of helpfully unobtrusive in all of the best ways. This is a 6 inch Full HD Plus display that looks great. Using this panel, colors are crisp, blacks look incredibly deep. Brightness is decent, although in direct sunlight you might need a little more, and there's no ghosting. Unlike other devices, the color temperature of this panel is just right, not too warm, not too cool. Google somehow achieved a full uniform bezel all around this screen without violating Apple's patent on flexible OLED displays which makes it feel more immersive, with the hole punch disappearing very quickly into the background. 
you would find that this panel doesn't quite have the pop of a Galaxy S phone, even on the saturated mode. And my unit does have some burn-in after a year of use. The status bar indicators and gesture navigation areas are retained. I also haven't found any issues with touch sensitivity or rejected touches. I did notice that adaptive brightness can be fairly twitchy at times, although I've read that it is because the phone learns what brightness level you like at different levels and then will adapt to those over time. Side note, I noticed on both the Pixel 5 and the 4a, there is a pronounced lip between the screen and body, a noticeable change in materials, something not as present on the iPhone or Galaxy devices I've tried. It doesn't affect usage or even collect dust, but it doesn't feel or look that nice. Back to the screen, something you won't find, the earpiece speaker, which lives under the glass. Looking over comments across the internet, this is a fairly divisive piece of the Pixel 5. It's enough of an issue for some people, they wouldn't even purchase the 5. Of course, you decide how to spend your money, but in my personal experience, it's not that much of an issue. Like most Gen Zs, I use headphones predominantly, and the rare times I took a phone call or watch a video without them, the Pixel 5 is loud, if tinny, and lacking in bass and stereo separation. I'm not saying it's fantastic, great, or even good, just good enough for sporadic, casual use. Like the design of this phone, the screen melts away, giving you a window into your content and the beautiful, smooth world of Android. Here, the Pixel 5 shines. This isn't stock Android, but Google's version of Android, and it is wonderful. There are so many little touches and helpful pieces. This phone is smart, and it's useful, knowing what you need and getting it to you. There are so many Pixel exclusive features, like call screening, so I never worry about spam calls, flip to activate do not disturb, now playing to see songs all around you. The Pixel 5 offers the safety app to call emergency services if you get into a car crash, the exclusive voice recorder which can translate voice to text, and then there's the Android feature. Once again, the theme is helpful. Notifications are grouped intelligently, extra points to the notification history feature as well. Google doesn't go as aggressive with battery savings meaning I actually get notifications in the background. The always-on display is beautiful, both the animations and the information that I get. I love being able to control different volume settings without leaving the app I'm in. Scrolling screenshots are very useful, and sharing those screenshots is incredibly easy with the updated share sheet. Selecting text and being able to call a phone number or get directions is a nice touch, just as a bedtime mode in the clock. The Your Phone integration between Android and Windows makes this a nice ecosystem like Apple. I didn't have any issues moving between Android and iOS, nor did I have any problems with Bluetooth. In general, I love using Android. The system just feels so nice, with smooth animations, thoughtful design touches, and an efficient system of productivity. At times, it does feel a little too minimal and a little lifeless, which Android 12 fixes for the most part but that brings its own issues. At least the unlocked Pixel 5 is very easy to install a custom ROM on. That stunning software also makes for a very smooth experience. Truly, you will not complain about the performance on a Pixel 5. Everything just glides, aided by that high refresh rate screen. UI animations are smooth, apps stay open in the background, and for the most part, this device stays cool. The only times I got it to heat up was when I used mobile data for a long time, used the camera extensively, or set the device up. The one area I got the phone to choke was when using the camera, where it would stutter switching between modes or when closing the app. Mainly, I used my phone as an Instagram and texting warrior. Nothing in my daily use could choke it. Sure, you could hit it with extended GPS navigation on 5G while recording a video and that'll slow it down but the intended audience of this phone doesn't care. The 765G provides more than enough power and features for daily use. I would say that because of the decreased power draw, Google is able to leave the 90Hz screen refresh rate on much more compared to the Pixel 4, which could lead to a more fluid experience regularly, 
even though the Pixel 4 is faster empirically. I think it was a great idea to use the 765G, as it emphasizes features and experiences over specs. That slower chip also leads to potentially the killer hidden feature of the Pixel 5, battery life. You'll find this phone to be a heavy usage all day phone, all day and a half moderate usage phone, and a two day light usage phone. Overnight drain sits at 2% and I could easily use this phone all day to half battery, let it sit on extreme battery mode overnight, and use it all the next day, going to bed at 5%. I don't have to worry about using it in low power mode anymore. The Pixel doesn't charge all that quickly over a wire, but the battery is so good, it doesn't matter to me. All of this was on a degraded battery too. I purchased the Pixel 5 for its durability and smooth Android, but battery life has quickly become one of my favorite features. And lastly, that leads us to the camera experience. What can I say you don't already know? It's a Pixel. Photos look amazing with great colors, a very contrasty look, great details in the shadows, well-handled highlights, etc. Even without night sight, low light photos look incredible and night sight just ups the game even more. I also found the natural depth of field from the camera to be quite good, and the portrait mode lends a very pleasing look with good edge detection. Unlike the speaker, the microphone is of fairly good quality, and you can have the microphone zoom into audio as you zoom into a person, thanks HTC. The viewfinder can also hold on to focus on something you've clicked on, which comes in handy. Video quality is also much better than I thought it would be. It's not quite there with the iPhone, but I had no problem capturing good looking video from the Pixel with impressive stabilization. I did notice a weird issue where while recording the video, the viewfinder made everything look overly processed and sharp, but when viewing the video, everything looked fine. In less than ideal light, video does start to get grainy, but overall, this camera provides a very good experience. Using the Pixel 5 is an experience in simplicity. There are no extra features, just a smart phone that helps you get done what you want. This phone is practical from the aluminum back that won't shatter to the call screen so you don't deal with spam. 2020 was an interesting year for Google after two executives left over the confusing Pixel 4. The 5 seems like a holdover for Google as they worked on the 6 and 6 Pro, taking the things they knew work with the 3A and extending it up and down their lineup to the 4A, 4A 5G, and the 5. My review of the Pixel 5 hasn't had many negative things to say, and it isn't because I was paid off. I've just genuinely enjoyed using this phone. The performance and battery are killer. It takes fantastic photos and videos. It's so simple and fun to use. While it is discontinued and most of the places you would find one are on the used or refurbished market, I really think it's a great deal for $400. The Pixel 5 is a Google phone through and through. I personally don't think it matters that it isn't a flagship phone as it still offers a high-end experience. It's fun, it's simple, and it's smart. This is a phone I could recommend to my parents to get, to my friends to get, to anyone who wants to try out Android. Using the Pixel 5 is truly a treat. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Michael with TechMB. I'll see you in the next one.